right, so just a little bit about what's next. I have Adam's report in the mailbox. I thought about being the bully, like the bully monster who beat up his car and just like doing a video of me tearing up the envelope without even reading it and putting it in the trash. Um, Regard, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he says I need my, I should be with my kid. My kid should be with me because he's already said that. He's said that many times. He has no concerns. Well, now we have a problem because, you know, the ball has been dropped and he did not keep his word and has not tried to get more time for me with my kids. Um, does not care if they have phones, does not care if, I'm being physically assaulted in front of them, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I, you know, being that he's my kid's guardian, that's his job. And so then I'm finally getting upset about this because he's been the guardian for so how long? And guardians are supposed to help fix these situations. So now I'm upset. So now we're we're enemies, I guess. I don't know. I mean, whatever. I've already applied to have him dismissed. So now he's mad about it to where he, I mean, I am the mother here and he refuses to communicate with me basically all summer long, except for when he was harassing me by email when my dad died and I was in Ohio dealing with this. Um... And even the judge recognized that was a low blow of him and completely irrelevant. So because of the stupid dang church, me messaging my son during at church camp. Okay, well, get over it, you know. Um, so regardless, um, and the church camp was like weeks before my dad died. So I don't want to hear it the day after my dad dies, you know. Um, but regardless, so he's getting turned into the bar for neglect. Um, obviously, I was really mad last night because of this stupid Melissa. I care. I do not care about her at all. I just think she's like a fucking worthless piece of horse poo. Okay. Um, worse than that. So she's like the fly that like lands on the poo. Um, just, you know, but she's controlling the situation and obviously, obviously controlling my kids. So this is why I am so upset, obviously, um, considering the entire situation in, a, in its entirety and how insane it is. Um, I'm continually upset over it and things just keep happening, happening to me because of the situation. So regardless, I will take my days that where I'm going to dedicate working on this next. And that's when I will focus on getting Adam turned into the bar when I'm not. Yeah. So when I'm not calling people douchebags and cunts, I will sit down and get professional and, um, and then I'm going to work on my pre-trial statement, get that done and, um, work on, you know, my contended or contested issues or whatever it is I need to, I need to put in my pretrial statement, which I already have hundreds of those already written up anyways in my recusal and all my emergency hearings. So really it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and like I said, Adam can't, and the mother, and Adam comes to court and can't even say hello to me. Um, obviously, you know, Eric D should be my arch enemy, but he's not um, blatantly, well, I mean, he is disrespecting me through his job, but it's his job, and you're not doing your job. Like, he's representing his crazy client, Eric, and you're representing my my most prized possessions, my children, and you're not doing a good job. You're doing a really poor job of it. And it's, and you're just adding to the abuse and adding to the trauma of, of my children. And you walk into court and can't even say hello to me now since 
I'm mad that you're not doing anything. So you can't even say hello. You're going to walk over and say hi to Gina and just ignore me in front of my kids. Like, whatever. I mean, who cares? I don't care about you, Adam. Like, I wish you well. Um, but at this point, I want you off the case. And it's for good reason. And anybody who knows about the situation would agree with that. Um, so I'll turn you into the bar. I'm sure it's not been the first time. That's why you can't find your name on Google because there would be millions of bad reviews, just like all of those court appointed therapists have. Um, so we'll see what happens. And I just can't help but think I hope your wife never divorces you because being that your last name's G and you're like this with the judge, then won't be good for her, right? So anyways, that's what's next.